A big snake is on the loose in Melbourne. Officials think the beast could be as long as 14 feet. All that's been left behind so far are snake tracks. West News Dan Billow tells us why trappers and homeowners say it's important to catch this monster. The homeowners who live on this two acre tract in the rural part of Melbourne were surprised to say the least when they saw these deep imprints in the sand this morning. They called a wildlife trapper right away. It could be six on up to 14 foot long. Three snake experts looked and looked, but couldn't find what they suppose is a monster, one that also left its tracks next to the playset used by Roy and Bonnie Overbay's grandkids. Hopefully they'll catch it, trap it. Because of the grandchildren and just, you know, we don't need that snake on this property. There's reason to believe a huge python could be in the area. Trappers and citizens have caught two or three giant snakes within a mile or two over the past year. It could be somebody had multiple snakes and just released them into the wild. I'm basically not afraid of snakes. I never have been. She married me. <laughs> but um, I think that one would, you know, we'd certainly run. <laughs> the trappers intend to keep coming back until they find the creature which could be deadly to pets and even children. The Fish and Wildlife Commission wants owners of exotic snakes to know that they offer amnesty periods once in a while so that people can turn in those snakes instead of letting them loose where they don't belong. In Melbourne, Dan Billow, West 2 News.